welcome back. Back to the classroom also means back to the cafeteria. And children on average consume double the recommended daily amount of added sugars and the processed snacks at lunch don't help with that at all. Author of Get Off Your Sugar and celebrity nutritionist Dr. Daryl Joffrey joins us live with tricks and tips to swap out the sugar. Good morning to you, doctor. Good morning. Nice to see you today. Good to see you as well. Before we get to your recommendations on all of the swaps, talk about the added sugar problem, really, that, that's plaguing our communities. It's a huge problem. When you walk into a grocery store, 74% of the foods you're going to find are going to have added sugars in it. And these are the ones that are taking us out because they're basically they've snuck themselves into our diet. They're hiding in so many different foods that we're eating, even foods that we might think are healthy, like yogurts and pasta sauces. So to really get off our sugar, we got to look at those labels and eliminate the added sugar. So when it comes to kids and back to school, what are some tips that you have for parents that are packing those lunches? The key thing is swaps. I mean, that's the most important thing is that we got to not use this deprivation mindset. For example, the banana, right? The banana is something that most of us think of as a health food. And it's a better food. I mean, it's got vitamins. It has minerals like mag magnesium and potassium. But again, it has 17 grams of sugar. So a good swap for that would be something like berries. Mm. Some of my favorites would be raspberries, blueberries, which I call brain berries because they're loaded with antioxidants. They'll strengthen our children's brains and strawberries. One cup of strawberries is half the amount of sugar that you're gonna find in one large, one large banana. Huh. So the swaps are really the key. Okay, what are some other swaps outside of the, the berries there? So we gotta get rid of the chips and the dips. They're loaded with what we call crap, C-R-A-P. That's completely refined and processed. Sugar, inflammatory fats. So instead we're gonna use vegetable slices. And I know that sounds boring, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna spice it up with some guacamole, or my favorite dressing in both of my books is Dr. Daryl's dressing. And I'm telling you, if I just had my kids have the vegetable slices, they probably wouldn't touch it. You add these dressings, it's gone in two seconds flat. Yeah, sometimes you need that extra kick, right? Just to entice uh, the children. White bread is a big issue. I know I have several nieces and nephews. They love it and it's, it's not good at all, not all the time. No, and here's what's crazy about white bread. Two slices of white bread is gonna increase your blood sugar more than a candy bar. How crazy yeah. is that? So we gotta ditch the white bread and instead we're gonna add in what's called a grain-free wrap. You can find these in the refrigerated or in the freezer section of your grocery store. If you don't have a grain-free wrap, you can use something like a romaine lettuce wrap or a butter lettuce wrap, but it's what you add into this that's the key. We have some hummus here, we have some avocado, which I call God's butter, some vegetable <laughs> slices, and we added some broccoli sprouts they don't taste green, which is the best thing. You can kind of sneak them in there. But broccoli sprouts are 30 times more nutritious than the vegetable counterpart broccoli. It's a number one anti-cancer food. Roll it up, throw it in your kid's lunch. They're going to love them. I love how you call avocado God's butter. I'm taking that home with me. I love it. Uh, it's the most perfect we, food. We yeah, it, it is perfect. Uh, before you let you go, let's talk about the brever beverages, too, because you want to get rid of all the sugary uh, fruit drinks. Yeah, fruit juice, I would say, is probably the worst culprit of added sugars in our children. Um, I mean, it's loaded with high fructose corn syrup, which is a liver toxin. The average fruit juice has 30 grams of sugar. That's over four teaspoons. So instead, we're going to use some fruit-infused water. Mm. All right, we added here some grapefruit, some uh, lemons and limes. These are high alkaline fruits. They're low in sugar, high in minerals. They taste great, and your kids are going to love it. Listen, we're dehydrated. Most of us are. Our kids are the same. So we got to get them in the water because that is what's going to help them clear their minds and their brains, and it's going to hydrate them at the same time. And they'll make good grades, too, because they'll be feeling better and also thinking clearer. Thank you so much, Dr. Daryl Joffrey, for all of your advice. That's your social media, also your website up there where parents can go for more information. Thank Thanks a so lot. Much. Have a good day. Thank you so much.